The Spaniards used the Machachan's dance for the benefit, but the dance still had a purpose and a story. It was the only dance that was performed by the Indian Pueblos and in the Hispano communities. The Native American Indians had their ceremonial dances, which were performed for a purpose. Native American hoop dance is a form of a storytelling dance incorporated in anywhere from 1 to 30 more hoops as props, which are used to create both st static and dynamic shapes or formations representing various animal symbols and storytelling elements in its general performed by a solo dancer with many hoops. During the dance, the shapes are formed in storytelling rituals such as the butterfly, the eagle, the snake, and the coyote with a hoop symbolizing the never-ending circle of life. Native American hoop dance focuses uh, on very rapid moves and the construction of hoop formations around and about the body. The hoops used are typically in very similar diameter of one to two and a half feet. In an elaborate se sequence of moves, the hoops are made to interlock in such a way they can be extended from the body of the dancer to form the appendages such as wings and tails. The hoops are often handmade by the dancers out of simple plastic piping, or some are made of wood, and the wrapping of colorful tape similar to the construction techniques used in hooping non-American hoop-based dances. Aztecs, where did they go and why? Modern scientists are not certain why the ancient ones left their cliff dwellings in stone pueblos, though most think that they were either starved out or forced out. Some early archaeologists thought that the Anasazi disappeared without explanation, abandoning magnificent stone structures like the cliff house, cliff dwelling, and half a million gallon reservoir at Mesa Verde National Monument in Colorado. A five-story pueblo, apartment house, of 800 rooms at Chaco Culture National Historic Park in New Mexico and a huge sunken kiva with a 95-ton roof supported by four wooden posts at Aztec Ruins National Monument, New Mexico. Many clans of present-day Indian tribes trace their ancestry to the Anasazis. They say, we are still here. There is a strong scientific evidence to confirm that the ancient ones didn't mysteriously disappear but evacuated major cultural centers like Chaco, Mesa Verde, and the Cayenta over perhaps a hundred years and joined what are now Hopi and Zuni communities in Arizona and New Mexico and Pueblo villages along the Rio Grande. Modern scientists are not certain why the ancient ones left their cliff dwellings in stone pueblos, though most think that they were either starved out or forced out. The Anasazi left little writings except for the symbolic pictographs and petrographs on rock walls. However, a severe drought from, the, from about 1275 A.D. to 1300 is probably a major factor in the departure. There is also evidence that the marauding enemy may have forced them to flee. 
The Manitou Cliff Dwellings overlooks Manitou Springs, Colorado at the foot of Pikes Peak. Below the Manitou Springs Cliff Dwellings is a three-story Pueblo-style building that is built in the style of the descendants of the Anasazi. The first six rooms of the Pueblo were built in 1904 and housed a family of local Native Americans until 1984. The Anasazi Indians are probably best known for cliff pueblos found throughout Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, and Utah. The name Anasazi comes from the Navajo Indians and roughly translates to enemy ancestors. To this day, the Hopi Indians claim that the Anasazi Indians were their ancestors. This has never been proven or disapproved to date. The Anasazi Indians were very smart. They have always built their homes into the side of cliffs. These cliff dwellings were safe because they could only be reached by climbing and made for a great defense system against traveling Indian tribes. Many researchers speculate that they had a very good and even sophisticated security system in place in the rocky cliffs that they called home. Not only were the, they brilliant in where they built their homes, but they were one of the pioneers in creating roads, water systems, and effective crop irrigations. They also gathered wood from many miles away. Just how it was done is still a mystery to this day. If you look at the pottery that the Anasazi Indians created, like other Indian tribes of the times, it tells a story. There's probably a lot that can be learned from studying the ancient art form. In fact, the popularity of the pottery of the Anasazi Indians is probably only second to the southwestern Indians. Eventually, the Anasazi Indians left the cleft dwellings. The reason why has never been proven, but there is much speculation that the Anasazi left due to shortage crop growing season. It was getting too hard to survive in a climate that was not yielding enough food. Others say it was because their security was threatened. This too has never been proven and is just speculation. No matter what the reason was, the Anasazi Indians have remained the center of Native American research.